No, seriously, if I wear the glasses, they'll think I'm smarter. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey everybody, Steve Zara here from Zara Dental Lab. In this lab video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a an advantage. Working with 3D models can be difficult because we try to put our little baby 3D models on these model holders and it becomes a hassle. You have to put a base on, you have to glue a base down, you have to come up with something. But ever since I, 20 something years ago when I learned how to bend wires, I had a friend show me and thank you so much for showing me to bend wires without using any type of model holder, just the pure model itself. And to be one of the most time-saving tricks I've ever learned in my whole career about being an orthodontic technician is to actually take a model and now that these things are so small they're already prepped which is beautiful but now we have to bend a retainer wire on it and i do not use a model holder i've ne i've tried it it's just as hard for me to use a model holder as it is for you to not use a model holder but i guarantee if you tried it and you got used to it you would thank me because it would save you so much time and a headache of making of wire bending with these super small models all right so i just got done printing my 3d models and now we have to make retainers out of all these um, these were done on my envision tech one printer if you need any more information about it um pretty kick pretty awesome printer you can dm me or leave a comment and i'll get back to you but all these models were printed in easy ortho shape super fast super efficient so now we got to bend retainers on all these models. That's the next step. What most of you are probably used to is taking a plaster model, a large plaster model, throwing it on your model holder and being able to bend wires. Without having a model holder and being controlled by that, you can go right from the process model to bending the wire to finishing your retainer and, and moving on. Some people have uh, shown videos that they don't even use any type of marking device to save time. And that's cool. Um, teaches their own. I always like to mark the model just so I can see where I'm going. But if you can do it without it, I think that's great. But I definitely, by having the model and being able to put it any angle I want, is definitely an advantage and time saver. Because most technicians definitely learn with a model holder. In fact, I, I think that's the only way that most people have ever seen it, except for a few of us.
So it's pretty easy to grab any type of model, 3D model, and go ahead and start bending wires fast rather than trying to figure out how am I going to mount this little guy. Being able to, um, we have trouble, we have trouble putting our little bases on these uh, devices to, we have trouble because we try to put the models on these, I don't even, We have trouble because we try to put our little tiny baby models on these wire um, bending apparatuses to help. <laughs> we have trouble because we try to put our little baby. We have trouble because we try to put our little baby 3D models on these model holders. And we will see you in the next one. Stay busy, my friends.